Ciao, hello everyone. This is Lucrezia, your local guide in Venice. And today I'm in the north of the city, more precisely in Canareggio district, to tell you about one of the most beautiful churches in Venice, which is considered by every local a hidden gem. It's to say the church of Santa Maria dei Miracoli, Saint Mary of the Miracles. You can see the church in the background behind me. You know, the construction started in the 15th century and uh, there is a specific reason why the church has been called the Church of Saint Mary of the Miracles. In those years, in fact, there was a very wealthy merchant who lived just around the corner who had a precious painting of the Virgin Mary in his private garden. The people living in the neighborhood believed that it was a miraculous painting because quite often after going there to pray, some miraculous things happened, like, for example, people healing from some disease. As a consequence, the painting of the Virgin began to attract people from all over the city that wanted to go there to pray. That's why the merchant shared the icon with the population, commissioning the construction of this church to the architect Pietro Lombardo, in order to house that painting and allow everybody to go there to pray. When the merchant commissioned the construction of the church to Lombardo, he asked him to design the most beautiful church in town. And that's why this is still today the only church in Venice which is entirely covered covered in marble. He also asked him to design a church that looked like a jewel box, because its function was to house that precious painting of the Virgin Mary. This is why, for example, you can see that the rooftop of the church is round-shaped, which is quite unusual, but it was designed like this on purpose because it had to recall the shape of a jewel box. For the construction of the church, Lombardo mainly used the white marble, but he also made a wide use of the red marble coming from Verona and of the green one, imported instead from Tuscany. Both of them were considered very, very expensive, and this was of course a symbol of the wealth of the merchant who commissioned the construction of the church itself, but also a symbol of his big devotion to the Virgin Mary. You also have to know that uh, Venetians usually call this church the Church of Marriages simply because they usually love to get married here. Of course because it's one of the most beautiful churches we have in town but also because it's situated in a very peaceful and quiet area of the city. If you would like to get to know more about this amazing masterpiece of the Venetian Renaissance and also if you would like to get to know more about Venice, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so you will not miss any new video. And if perhaps you are visiting Venice and you would like to get some tips and tricks for your stay, make sure also to visit www.secretvenicetour.com and see the tours that I offer. Ciao!